Hi, welcome to Ben Who Likes Beer and Startups. My name is Ben and I've been working hard all summer on my startup and I'm super excited to tell you all about it. But today I thought I'd chime in on the recent controversy around the .NET Core and Project JSON. Now, if you haven't heard the news, a couple of senior guys from the .NET team released a blog post a few days ago about how the Project JSON is dying and they're migrating back into the csproj slash MS build format. Now this has kicked up a bit of a stir with developers because a lot of them really liked the new format, but Microsoft are rightfully trying to unify their build platform. Uh, and this is unfortunately the road they need to take. Now, if you've been following the ASP.NET uh, pathway or project over the last couple of years, this shouldn't come as a surprise to you as they gave us the bad news a little while ago. But what I wanted to do is just talk about the things I liked and the things I hope to see uh, and really hope to push you know, things to improve. Uh, and so, Let's talk about ease of use because that was probably the number one thing most developers I think liked about Project JSON is that it was a simple text file that you could edit very, very easily yet cause very powerful changes to occur. Now I found when I was working on projects there were really only two major tasks that I needed to achieve when editing a Project JSON file. And that was when I started a new project, I'd have to set up my target assemblies and the initial sort of dependencies I was gonna need. And secondly, throughout the life of the project, I had to manage my NuGet dependencies. Now I actually caught myself mainly going to Google, searching for the sort of package I might need, finding the NuGet website, and then just copying the name of the package and the version that was the latest with the most downloads into my project JSON file. And I found that much nicer than spinning up the manage NuGet packages dialog. That might be a bit weird, but I really did enjoy editing the text file manually. I found that it, would do exactly what I wanted, like I was in charge of the underlying data rather than having an abstraction over the top. Now I also really enjoyed the .NET CLI and how easy it was to run .NET build and restore and, and pack and publish and all that sort of stuff. And luckily the uh, team are keeping that .NET wrapper, but a lot of the guts of what's going to be done, a lot of the things that the moving parts are actually gonna be in MS build. And probably my favorite one that was actually really subtle, but I really enjoyed was the fact that all files on the file system in the project folder were included in the project by default. I thought that was really, really good. Um, and what I hope to see moving forward is that um, even though they have wildcards for the include statement, so you can include all CS files or even all files, but I wanna see an exclude with a path and a wildcard as well, because I'd rather have everything included and just exclude things like uh, node modules, for example. But what I'm really interested in is what you think about this whole process in general. What did you like about the project, Jason? What do you like about MS Build, in fact, as well? Um, let me know in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see the future of the whole project API and build system be. And as I mentioned, I am working on my startup pinch payments. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a lot more dev content now that I've got some more time. And I really look forward to explaining the journey I've been on so far and everything about my project. So stay tuned for that one. Anyway, that's all for this video, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.